Hello everyone and welcome to tapsforacoustic.com for a new guitar lesson and video. And today we are going to learn how to hold a guitar properly when we are seated. That might seem a very obvious and easy thing to learn, but there's still a couple of details I really want to point out to prevent any problems you might have with that. Before we start, just a couple of important points. What I'm going to teach you today applies on a folk guitar. So that's an acoustic guitar with metal strings like I have there. It works pretty much the same way with an electric guitar. It can work the same way with a classical guitar. So those are acoustic guitars with nylon strings. However, if you want to play classical music on a classical guitar, you should use the classical position, which is an entirely other position that I'm not going to talk about today because that's not the subject of this video. If, however, you want to play some more modern music with your classical guitar, you can totally use that position without any problem. Second point, we all have different bodies. We all have different guitars. Some of them are thinner. Some of us have a bit of a belly. We have longer arms. We are taller, stuff like this. And approximately half the guitarists have boobs. So what I'm going to show you today is not a position you should try to replicate exactly. It's instead a foundation you should use to build on to find your perfect position, the one that, you, that will feel the most natural to you. So don't hesitate to nudge things a little bit and fiddle with it until you find something where you are comfortable with it. And speaking of comfort, third point I want to point out, it will take a while for you to feel natural with a guitar in your hands. It will take at least a couple of weeks, maybe more, maybe a bit less if you're lucky, until you really find yourself in a position where you are comfortable with your guitar. This is perfectly normal, so you don't need to worry about it. It will come with experience, so don't worry about that too much. Just try to do your best, and ultimately it will be okay. Last but not least, I'm a right-handed player. So if you are a right-handed player, just do as I do. If you are a left-handed player playing on a right-handed guitar, just do as I do. If, however, you are a left-handed player playing on a left-handed guitar, mirror everything I say. When I talk about my right hand, it's your left hand. When I talk about my left hand, it's your right hand. So without further ado, let's start talking about the position. But I know you're in a bit of a hurry and you probably already have a guitar on your lap. So before you start, put it down. Because the first thing we need to do is to be seated properly. So, sorry, there's a bit of a dirt in my guitar. What you should find is a chair or the stool without armrest. I know, I do have armrest, but I'm used to it now, and, but that's still not something I would recommend for a beginner. So don't take something with armrest. And what you want to find is a stool or a chair where you can be seated with a proper height. And that means you should have your thighs approximately parallel to the ground, parallel-ish. You don't want to be sitting with your thighs angled down like this, two up, and you certainly don't want to be slouching down like on a coach with your knees super high like that. That's a very bad idea. So try to keep your thighs parallel to the ground and that would be a good starting point. And speaking of sitting, you should always, always be sitting with your back straight. Don't slouch over like this, never. Keep your back straight. It's very important, otherwise you, that might lead to back pain while you're playing, and it's not gonna be very enjoyable, is it? So once you are in that position, take your guitar, and what you're gonna do is take the underside of your guitar there with a nice curve and put it flat on your right thigh. Pretty easy, right? What you should be careful about is that you don't want to be angling it like this or like that, never like that put it as flat as possible. So use the fact that your guitar is pretty flat on the underneath to really place it properly. You can take it close to your body or a little bit further away. That's something that you can adjust depending on you and your guitar. Once you are in that position, you might realize if you let go of the guitar that it falls down because the weight of the tuning machine here on the guitar head will push it down towards the ground. So your first instinct might be to, oh, I'm gonna hold the neck with my left hand. I'm so clever, except you're not. This is not your left hand job. Your left hand should never have to support the neck. It's there to play on the neck, never to support the neck. So what you want to do, you can hold it temporarily, is take your right arm, go over your guitar and place your right hand around there. Just place it flat, don't worry too much about picking stuff right now. And what you will find is that when you do that, your right elbow, or maybe a bit of a forearm or biceps, will touch your guitar around there. And this will counterbalance the weight 
of the tuning machines. This will allow you to have a perfectly placed guitar without, having the, without needing the use of the left hand to support the neck. There again, you can adjust things a little bit. You can angle your guitar a bit like that, so with the neck a bit more further away from you or a bit closer to you. You can also keep the neck a little bit angled upwards to the ceiling, but not too much. Don't go like this. This is a bad idea. You won't be able to reach the, head, the, the strings properly with your right hand. And just never let it fall down to the ground. It will, this would make your job a lot harder. So this is the proper position with your guitar flat on your thigh, close to your body, but not too much, maybe, and using your right forearm, elbow, thingy here to counterbalance the weight of the Qing machines. Once you're there, you can try to adjust your position a little bit. Maybe move your leg a bit up or down. Some people use a foot rest to have the, their legs high enough. You can move your right arm like this, so you can touch the guitar here or here or here or here, depending on the length of your forearm and the size of the guitar. All of that is adjustable and depends on you and your guitar. So try to play around with it. Try to find something that feels good. It will take a while, but ultimately you will find it. Just remember to not let the guitar go down like this. Don't use your left hand to support the neck and keep it straight-ish. Once you're there, it's all done. You can put your left hand here and start playing guitar without having to worry about your position. Now, if you do everything I just said properly, you will have one big problem when you start to play. You don't see the neck. Well, you see the back of the neck, but you don't see where your fingers are, which is a bit of an issue when you're a beginner because you want to check where your fingers fall on your neck. So unless you have x-ray vision, that's going to be an issue. But here's a couple of tips to help you. Your first instinct might be to go like this or like this. Don't. This is not a good way to solve that problem. It will only lead to more problems later on. The first thing you should do is try to find a mirror. If you have a mirror, put it in front of you and use it to see where your fingers are. This is a very great tool to check your position and check your playing when you are practicing. So if you have one, use it. The second tip I have for you is to feel your position instead of looking at it. Try to count the strings with your fingers. Try to feel the frets with your fingers. This is not easy at first at all, really not. So you might really be tempted to go and, and look, but try to refrain from doing that and really feel your position based on the frets. You might make a few mistakes, but that's not too bad. It's better than going at it with the wrong position. Last tip, if really, really nothing else works and you really need to take a look at what you're doing, do it like this. Angle the guitar just a tiny bit, the smallest bit possible. And you can angle your head down a bit. Don't use your back like that. Just use your neck and look at it. And once you've looked at it and you've corrected your position or your fingers or stuff like this, put it back where it was. Don't keep playing like this. This is a bad idea. So you put it back and then you keep playing. And if you later on you need to check again, then you can angle it a little bit, take a look, just a sneak peek, and put it back like that. This will help you a lot in the long run. That's what I want you to do. Start off with a good position so you won't have any problems later on. With that being said, it is the end of this lesson. So use the position I've showed you, nudge it a little bit until you find something that feels comfortable, feels natural, feels good to you and play like this. You might have realized that we haven't talked about uh, playing guitar standing up. This is because I advise you to not do it when you're a beginner, not until you are very comfortable with holding your guitar when you are seated. Then we'll do another video about playing with the guitar standing up, which is an entirely other subject. We'll also do another lesson about the left hand position because a lot of beginners make mistakes about that and those mistakes can really hinder the practice. So be on the lookout for that. And until next time, uh, you can also find us on facebook.com slash tapsforacousticen or on twitter.com slash tapsforacousticen. And if you like this video, then please like it, rate it, comment, subscribe, everything you want. It always makes us feel really, really happy. So see you next time.